Have you guys ever broken a valve stem on the trail? If you have, you know it can be very difficult to fix if you do not, or impossible to fix if you don't have the right tools or parts to replace it with you. So today, I blew out a valve stem, not completely. Uh, the last time I went snow wheeling, uh, I was able to drive it home, but it is leaking and we need to fix it. So I went on Amazon and with a few simple tools, we are going to uh, replace the valve stems without actually taking the tires off, the wheels off or anything. So uh, this valve core tool right here, we're gonna use to uh, let the air out. And this is a valve core uh, remover, not core, valve stem remover that I got on Amazon, I think for seven or eight bucks. And hopefully we can pull the valve stems out from the outside without destroying them and leaving uh, the inside, you know, broken inside the rib. And so we're gonna be replacing them with these Colby Valve Ultra Short Valve Stems. So these are installed on the outside, so we do not have to remove the tire, which is super convenient. And these are also, I've heard, pretty strong. Ever since I started driving this truck off-road, I've had a set of these regular Colby valves that install from the outside, just in case I lose a valve stem on the trail and I have to replace it on the spot. So luckily I didn't have to use this, uh, but we're here in the garage now, so we're going to uh, take them off and try to install these right now. This valve stem right here is the culprit. You see if I push it to the side, it's broken uh, right where the rim and uh, the valve st stem meet. I just washed it so there's a tiny bit of water so it looks better. Uh, so that's an issue. Luckily it didn't leak all the time. And clearly you can see that this valve stem sticks out really far and just straight out. So this is gonna be prone to getting hit on a rock and breaking that valve stem right there. So in my opinion on these particular rims, uh, if the valve stem was drilled in, you know, straight up and down over here and not over here, uh, we would have less of a problem with these valve stems impacting rocks or snow or whatever uh, the situation is. So let's jack it up and start replacing all these valve stems. Mm -hmm. Lucky, it almost ripped and broke off inside of the tire. But we got all of uh, this valve stem, so we can install the new one. Looks like we already got a leak. It's from the valve core, so let's tighten it up. Valve core was loose. Okay, let's check the pressure. Got good pressure. So I got a little bit of soapy water that I'm gonna dump on here. See if it's gonna leak. Doesn't look like we have any leaks. So we can move on to the other three. And you can see this one, not only is it stronger, stiffer, it sticks out less than half that that other one stuck out. The other one went to about here, it's about half. It, uh, so any rocks you can see on these rims that, I hit rocks a lot on the rim. It's gonna keep it a lot tighter in here so it won't hit on the rocks or get uh, caught up in the snow. This is the valve stem that I took out of the truck. You can see how it is designed. It's pretty long. This is the new one. It gets 
a lot shorter because you tighten this nut right here and it squeezes this seal closer together and it squeezes it around the hole in the rim. So this is that bad one right here where it basically turned sideways and ripped this guy right here along this line and then it started to leak. So hopefully with this being more solid and shorter, uh, we will not have that same type of issue. Well guys, that was quick, easy, and simple. So it was about $10 in tools and $50 for four of the valve stems. They're about $25 for two of them. So have a spare set of these in your toolbox. And now I have the $10 worth of tools in order to remove the valve stems from the outside. So if I'm ever on the trail uh, for myself or anybody else, uh, if they have a valve stem issue, I am prepared to fix it right there on the side of the road on the trail in about five minutes. This whole thing took me about 30 minutes. So $60, 30 minutes, you could have all four new valve stems completed and done. That's gonna be it for this video, just quick and short. Just wanted to show you guys since I'm doing it anyways. Figure I might as well film it. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, do all the things you're supposed to do for YouTube, and we'll see you in the next one.